Hello guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new. My name is Amiza. Today we are going to be doing our 2021 bullet journal setup. 2020 was a very challenging year. I think not just for me but for everyone else in general. The pandemic has not given us much to laugh about in 2020 yet the year still had its fair share of the weird and the wonderful. Throughout the year, I think I've learned a lot of life lessons. I've learned to see things in a new perspective. I learned how to cook. I learned not to waste time or procrastinate. And above all, even though we will continue to live in uncertain times like this, many of us have realized that we are actually stronger than we thought we were. Now that the year has over, let's talk about 2021. This year, I am using this Suki Moonflower journal from Notebook Therapy. If you guys want to see in details about this journal, I have a video where I unboxed and reviewed this journal. I will include the link in my description in case you guys are interested. But for this particular spread, this one is my future log. I know some of you are actually wondering why I'm using acrylic, what I'm planning on doing, so for my 2020 bullet journal setup, each page or each spread will have their own background color just like what I normally see in some pre-made planners. This is a bit time consuming because you will need to let your acrylic to dry completely before you can write on it. But if you are impatient like me, you can always use your hairdryer to speed up the drying process. For the background colors, I choose pastel colors but you guys can opt for different colors if you want. The only thing that you need to remember before you apply acrylic in your journal is to make sure that you add a little bit of water so that the paint is not too thick and you can still see the dots. So for this future log, I am using this calendar-like layout. I've been using this layout since 2019 if I'm not mistaken. I love the idea of seeing everything in one spread. This way, I can easily plan ahead without the need to flip the page. If you guys also wondering whether or not you can use your Crayola or Tombow on your acrylic, the answer is yes. But as I said earlier, you will need a lot of patience with this one because the ink will smudge if you don't let it dry completely. As I said, it is a bit time consuming process but for this 2021 setup, I already decided no doodles, no drawings so the colored background will also serve as the decoration. For the title, I am using this alphabet stamps set from Notebook Therapy. I will also include the link to Notebook Therapy's website if you guys want to check it out. So if you guys notice from this video, I start off in the middle section. This way, I know that my title will be at the center. To complete the whole decoration, I also use some washi tape around my title and also at the bottom side of the spread. For the next spread, this is my finance tracker. This is where I record my income, my savings, and also bills I need to pay. I've been relying on this tracker for a few years already. I think it is a game changer for me. I remember that time when I didn't have this tracker. I always miss paying my bills on time because I didn't remember if I've already paid them. But since I have this tracker, I can easily refer to the tracker to see if I have already paid my bills. Same thing goes to my savings and income. This is a great layout for those who like to see everything in one go. So for this spread, I am using this ash grey hue for the background. I also draw three tables, each for my bills, income and also savings. These tables are also divided into 13, 12 for the month and one at the left hand side for me to write down the particular. So for example, on the bills table, I will write down car, house, internet and so on. And if I have paid the bill for January, for example, 
I will write down the amount in the January column. That way I know I have paid the bills and the exact amount I paid them. For the next spread, this is for my 2021 goals and since it is just a one page spread, I use my washi to cover the other page. Um, this way my acrylic won't smudge or go to the next page. And if you guys can also see, I also used a piece of paper so that I can easily paint on the edges of the page. For the background, I used this orange slash peach color and I added some white paint to get this pastel shade. I didn't achieve a lot of my goals last year due to the pandemic but this year I planned on setting some small but realistic goals. Hopefully I can achieve them by the end of this year. I also divide my goals into two sections, one for my work and another one for my personal goals. The next page is my weight tracker. Now this is a very interesting one. Um, I started this tracker last year because I felt determined to gain some weight and by November 2020 if I'm not mistaken, I did actually gain 50 kilograms which is a bit of accomplishment for me since I have never achieved 50 kilograms in my whole life. I am still considered underweight according to my BMI. So this year, I am planning on gaining another 5 kilograms. I'm not sure how am I going to do it, but hopefully I can achieve that. And as you guys can also see, I changed the washi tape on the previous page to another direction to complement with this spread. I also decided to add some drop shadow by using my Tombow for the Noske brush pen. And as I said earlier, if you guys are afraid of using brush pen on acrylic, afraid that the ink will smudge, you guys can take it from me. It won't smudge as long as you let the acrylic and the ink to dry completely before you touch them. The next spread is my Quran tracker spread. For this tracker, each number you seen in this video represents the juzuk or the chapter in the Quran. So each time I complete reading the whole Quran, I will write down the date when I complete in the blank space at the bottom of each box. And to complete the whole decoration, I just went ahead and add some washi tape just like how I did with the previous spread. The next spread is my period tracker spread. I have this tracker in my last year bullet journal as well but I didn't use it much mainly because I forgot to fill in the tracker but this year I am determined to use it because I really want to see my period pattern throughout the year. So for this tracker, the numbers you see on the left hand side represent the days in the month and the column above it is where I write down the alphabets that indicate the month. I also added some drop shadows to complete the whole look. And in case you guys are wondering, I am using the same alphabet stamps throughout this setup to create some consistency. The next spread is my 2021 timeline spread. I didn't include this particular spread in my 2020 bullet journal but I remember at some point I really miss having this spread so I decided um, to include it in my 2021 bullet journal. So for this spread, I draw 12 boxes that represent the month in the year and when something worth to be remembered happens to me, whether or not they are big or small, I will write down the event. That way I can have a glimpse of what happens to me throughout the year in one spread. The next spread in my 2021 setup is of course my word of the year spread. Um, so for this spread, I added some washi at the center of the page so that I can write down the definition of the word. For the background, this is a bit different. I decided to combine all the colors I used in my bullet journal setup and to do this, I just use a sponge and randomly apply the acrylic on my page. Depending on the hue that you use, you can also create galaxy painting with this technique. My word of the year for 2021 is progress. 
It is the process of gradually improving or getting nearer to achieving or completing something and I feel like it is a very powerful word for me because 2020 has put a lot of things on pause so I feel like 2021 will be the year where I actually do the things that needed to be done and whether or not I can achieve my goals the most important thing is the progression after I'm done with the spread I went ahead to the very first page in this journal to write down the word 2021 I created this one with the help of my Cricut Maker machine. I'm not going to go into details on how to create this stencil. I think I already posted a short video on the topic on my Instagram account. The link to my Instagram account is also in my description down below. So same technique, I randomly applied the acrylic on the page. That way this 2020 word will be full of pastel colors and I kind of like how it turned out. So here's the final flip through. Everything is so colorful yet still minimal in my opinion. I like how everything turned out. I think this is a little bit different compared to my previous setups. It is a bit time consuming I must say but all the layouts are still looking nice, simple and minimal. Alright guys, I think that's all for this time. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and I would really appreciate it if you guys can help me grow my channel by subscribing. I wish everyone a very happy new year. Whatever the future brings, I am sure that all of us will keep striving. Wishing all of you health, wealth and happiness in the year ahead. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye bye.